Hello friends, today we will discuss runway configuration. The capacity of an airport depends upon the runway configuration and runway configuration depends upon air traffic volume demand and also wind conditions. Runway configuration basically means the number and relative arrangement of runway at an airport and there can be several types of runway configurations. But all these are combinations of four basic configurations. The first is single runway. That is the simplest configuration and it is adopted when the wind condition is almost uniform and runway can be used throughout the year and air traffic demand is not very high. A single runway under VFR conditions. Now here VFR conditions is basically means visual flight rules and these flights are generally outside the air traffic control system. Here the basic rule of flight is see and avoid. Under VFR conditions a single runway can accommodate 50 to 100 operations per hour. Now here landing and takeoff are considered two different operations. But under IFR conditions, this reduces to 50 to 70 operations per hour. Now IFR here is instrumental flight rules. Now these flights are completely in control of air traffic control tower. 50 to 70 operations per hour. These are the capacities of a single runway. Now, if a single runway is not able to provide enough wind coverage or the air traffic volume demand is not met by a single runway, then we go for parallel runways. If wind conditions are uniform, but a single runway is not able to meet the demand of the traffic, then we go for parallel runway. Parallel runway can be two three or four. It all depends upon the traffic requirement. The operation on these runways depend upon the distance between center line of two runways. Whether these two runways can be operated independently or not, that will be dictated by the spacing between these two runways. And based on the spacing x between center line of these two runways, these runways are classified as close, close parallel runway or intermediate parallel runway or far parallel runway. In case of close parallel runway, this distance x is between 200 meter and less than 750 meter and when this distance is 750 meter to less than 1300 meter then they are called intermediate parallel runways when the distance between two runways is more than or equal to 1300 meter then they are far parallel runways. If a, if a terminal building is placed between these two parallel runways, then you need to provide more space between these two runways to accommodate the building, the apron area and taxiways. In that case, these two runways become almost independent of each other. Close parallel runway in VFR conditions can allow simultaneous arrival and departure. That means arrival may occur on one runway while departures are occurring on the other runway. But even in VFR conditions, simultaneous departure or simultaneous arrival on both runway is not feasible. And under IFR conditions, these runways cannot be used independently even for arrival and departure. But they may be operated as a dual lane runway. 
dual rail lane runway with a system of exit taxi way. Now, a dual lane parallel runway basically consists of two closely spaced parallel runway with the appropriate exit taxi way. Although both runway cannot be used for simultaneous departure for mixed operation arrival and departure, but the desirable mode of operation is to dedicate runway which is farther from the terminal building for that is outer outer runway for arrivals and inner runway for departure exclusively. And it is estimated that a dual lane runway can increase the capacity of a runway, single runway by 70 percent under VFR conditions and almost 60 percent under IFR conditions. That is the purpose of having a dual lane runway. Capacity is increased by 70 to 60 percent depending upon the uh, visibility conditions. Now, when this distance is 750 to less than 1300 meter, that is intermediate parallel runway, then these may be operated with simultaneous arrivals in VFR conditions. Intermediate, intermediate parallel runways may be operated in IFR conditions also with simultaneous departure in a non radar environment if the center line spacing is at least 1050 meter and in a radar environment if it is at least 750 meter. Simultaneous arrivals and departures are also permitted if the center line spacing is at least 750 meter if the threshold of the runway are not staggered. This can be staggered also. I told you, if the thresholds are not staggered and the spacing between these two runways is minimum 750 meter, then they can be permitted for simultaneous landing or departure also. The capacity of this system under VFR condition is 60 to 2000 operations per hour and under IFR conditions this capacity can be something between 60 to 75 operations per hour. When there are four parallel runways then each pair is spaced close and two pairs are kept far away from each other like this. This is a four runway, parallel runway and this is the site for terminal building. Terminal building is kept in these two pairs. Third configuration is intersecting runways. Now, intersecting runways are provided when the single runway does not provide enough wind coverage and the capacity of the system or this configuration depends upon the direction, duration and intensity or crosswind component of each on each of these runways. And if the wind conditions are favorable, I mean both runways can be used, then the capacity will depend upon the direction of takeoff and landing and also the position of this point of intersection, whether this is close to the end of the runway or towards center of the runway. The capacity is maximum when the this intersecting point is near the takeoff threshold and landing threshold of two runways and the flight path are diverging like this. Takeoff is in this direction and landing is in this direction and the second position could be when this landing and takeoff, they are converging like this. This is a landing and this is takeoff. It depends upon the wind conditions at two runways, crosswind component at two runways. This will give you the minimum capacity. Capacity of this system is around 
एट्टी फाइव ऑपरेशन पर आवर एंड द बेसिक कंसिडरेशन इज दैट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन फ्लाइट पाथ ऑफ टू एयरक्राफ्ट एट द सेंटर ऑफ द रन वे शुड बी एज फार एज पॉसिबल जनरली थ्री किलोमीटर द कैपेसिटी ऑफ दिस इज फिफ्टी फाइव ऑपरेशन पर आवर दिस सिस्टम फिफ्टी फाइव ऑपरेशन पर आवर एंड इफ यू टेक टेक ऑफ फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन एंड लैंडिंग फ्रॉम दिस डायरेक्शन then capacity will be between these two around 60 operations per hour that is intersecting runways the fourth is non intersecting runway or open v intersections intersecting runways are provided as i told you when the single runway does not provide enough wind coverage but the space is limited in case of open v they are non intersecting runway like this this is one this is second and therefore the capacity naturally is more than the capacity of an intersecting configuration now here also whether both can be used or not that will depend upon the wind conditions and the capacity will depend upon the direction of landing and take off this is the diverging flight path for two aircrafts and this will be the converging flight path this is if this is the landing and the take off if both runway can be used if crosswind component on both runways is within permissible limit then in that case this will give you the highest capacity and this capacity is around 60 to 180 operations per hour in a diverging flight mode this is under vfr conditions under vfr conditions and this capacity will be around 50 to 80 operations per hour under ifr conditions under ifr conditions but when these flight paths converge then this is reduced to 50 to 60 operations per hour under ifr conditions and under vfr it will be around 50 to 100 operations as i told you if wind conditions are not favorable both runway cannot be used simultaneously in both these cases they will revert back to a single runway capacity they will behave like a single runway either this can be used or this can be used but intersecting runways and non intersecting runways are provided only when a single runway does not provide enough wind coverage so these are four configurations of runway thank you very much for watching this video if you have any question in doubt you can write in the comment box